I have a special treat for you. This is a recipe video coming straight from Natasha, who is from Culinary Wit. Natasha, what's the name of this recipe? Um, green stuff. You gotta get the green stuff. Okay, green. For this recipe, you're only gonna need six ingredients, and Natasha's gonna run us through those six. You're gonna need ginger, not so much. You're only gonna use like an inch of ginger depending on how many servings you're planning. A bunch of cilantro, a bunch of curly parsley. You could also use flat parsley if it's not available or Italian parsley. Dino kale or lacinato. You could also use any kale, any preference that you have, as long as it's kale. Limes, organic of course. That'd be organic. And so you wanna use the rind of them organic apple juice. There you go, six ingredients. Very easy to make, so we're gonna run you through the process right now. Flavor. So I put the whole, whole thing going in there. Wow, oh, that, that is a lot there. of parsley. It is a lot. If you're new to green juice, this is a really amazing one to try because it's not gonna scare you away from it. It's gonna taste good. Mm. And now we got cilantro going there. These are already clean, by the way. If you get them, usually they're dirty and have a lot of soil, so I would suggest you clean them. I usually put about four cups of apple juice. Four cups of apple juice, okay. But everyone has a different preference, sometimes they like it sweeter, uh, and also depending on the amount of greens you put in there and the blender, because sometimes if your blender's not too good, there will be chunks in there, so the more juice you add, the more it breaks it up. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna ask that if anybody could do this in just a regular blender. Yeah, they can, but it depends on which one. Like, I know Nutribullet is definitely good for this. Um, the Vita Prep or Vita Mix. You can use purple kale, Russian kale, the curly one. Everybody asks me when they first start eating kale what kind they should buy. What's your recommendation? I honestly, the darker. The kale, the better. Mm -hmm. So I always go with lacinato or the purple kale. I love it because of the purple color. It's mm -hmm. rich. The richer in color the food is, the more nutrients and antioxidants you're gonna get. And it's so, like, the deep green color is really beautiful. And those look like some fresh greens. The fresher the greens, the better it's gonna be for your body, too. I'm gonna blend this up first, then I'm gonna add the limes. I also like to cut it into pieces. I cut it into quarters. And blend. So you're adding in the limes now? Yeah. Next step is straining it. You don't want all those sediments. And the reason I put the whole lemon in it, there's actually more flavor in the rind than the actual lime itself inside. It's that simple, so that's something you can really easily do at home. And um, the herbs, if you're worried that you'll taste the cilantro or the parsley, uh, you really don't in this one, so you have to try it. And I think it's something that your family, your kids, everybody loves this. Your grandma, your pets, hook it up, you know? Give everybody some green juice. There's the finished product, and we're gonna do a little green cheers. Boom. And all we did, the three steps were chop and blend and strain. Easy. <laughs> so enjoy it. Hope you like the recipe and make sure you find Nick and Natasha on Facebook. Puts out free recipes all the time. Who doesn't love that?